All right, here we are. Uh, back yeah. again. Okay. Game player Ethan and cameraman Alex. Yeah. This time we're playing MGS4. Guns of the Patriots. You actually can't play this game. You have to watch it. That's how many cutscenes there are. Oh, well, basically, we're recording <laughs> the cutscenes in community. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's, just, it's mostly a movie. It's more of a movie than a game. Uh, is it like, what is it? What's that one movie game? Um, it's not actually a movie game. It's just, it was a joke. It just has that many damn cutscenes. Is it like Detroit Become Human or something? It's not that. Okay, <laughs> it's not quite that much. No. Of. It just has a lot of cutscenes. That was just an ad. <laughs> Fine. Now, there's a cutscene that you actually have to engage with first. Let's see. To understand the story. Because you, if you played a game without watching this cutscene, you're like thrown into like Battlefield for no reason. Oh. Now, do I care? Let's see. It's gonna be like a 15 minute cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll just. Uh... It's not 15 minutes. There, there is an hour long. There is an hour and a half long cutscene in this game, but this one's what? like five minutes. <laughs> yes, there is. It's like a movie. And... <laughs> This lolly before. This is like a lolly voice and like some. Is it? <laughs> it sounds like a lolly. Huh. Doesn't it? No? <laughs> it doesn't sound like a lolly to you. It sounds like a child. It just sounds like a normal child. <laughs> I forgot to turn on subtitles. Yeah, that'd be good. Nope, I can't turn them on. Too late. Okay. With PMCs at the heart of that movement. PMCs? Private military companies. That's right. PMCs have no basis in nations or ideologies. They are private enterprises Who? driven by profit. PMCs. In addition to are you starting the Discord yet? Zones, they secure Why? Damn it, okay. local soldiers yeah. and contractors for war itself. You just, just stream this. Their clientele yes. includes. <laughs> just stream on some random channel. Some random channel. Looking to seize power by force. Yeah. Smaller countries. I don't even know. Even terrorists. I can't. No, because then I, I can't. I can't do two camera devices at the same time. Oh. Europe, Africa, the Middle East. The rise of the PMC has spawned a war by proxy, spreading across the globe. Sunny. Well, those don't look very good. <laughs> they look absolutely terrible. That was the lolly that we were hearing. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just a normal, normal child. PMCs, a normal child. We've been dealing with them since before the turn of the century. No, Snake. They're nothing like the mercenaries of the past. They're ready. Sorry, I'm a little busy with them. Oh. Pentagon's new battlefield control. <laughs> She's pissed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> between higher guns and the PMCs. And <laughs> like, stay away, child. This is grown up talk. PMCs, hired guns, eggs. You mean AT Corp? Why does no one want eggs? Though? In recent years, that's a good AT Corp has shifted focus from weapons development. Those eggs are pretty terrible. <laughs> How do you burn it? I didn't even know you could like. Burn it. She's a child. Give her some slack. She's probably like what nine years old. The system makes it possible to integrate not only micro level information on individual soldiers and units, but also why she walk up the stairs so slowly? Field conditions in order of battle, so they finally achieve total real time battlefield control. That's right. And as a result, the global presence of PMCs has grown explosively. Truth is, 
Okay. <laughs> that was necessary. <laughs> yes. He, could, he, he, could, he was too lazy to fix his own glasses. Mm, that's a, I thought you were going to trip and drop the plate. Uh, That. <laughs> okay. Snake, you were smoking again, weren't you? This is a non-smoking plant. There's more. State governments and rebel groups can't match the maintenance price of standing forces. Maybe smokes in a plane. A snake does, apparently, and he's an old man. It's like no ventilation in there. Boy, it's good. Actually, I don't know. The problem is. And, as a result, regular armies began to decline worldwide. It's hard to believe I know. PMCs are becoming oh, so quiet. Potential armies in terms of I don't know, why is this game so quiet? Nowadays, it's the PMCs who serve as standard Well, battalion. the voices are. Really. They already make up 60% of all combatant forces in zones of conflict. 60%? I think it has to do with the surround sound, but it's only putting the voice to that one speaker. Now depends largely yeah. on PMCs for waging its wars. I thought it was the UN that authorized the PMCs in the first place. The US it's basically just resolution. talk about private military companies and how the worlds were placed. Mm. All like standing nations have replaced their militaries with private military companies. Oh, that sounds awful. The US has exported too much military power. Now, she's paying the price. That's exactly it. America has now turned war into a form of economic activity. And, and the country, like the whole world, runs on war. Like the economy runs on the war. Yeah. Instead of oil. Like our modern economy runs on oil. This economy runs on the war. Scandalizing. Watch it happen. For the PMCs, market expansion entails fanning the flames of war. It means more refugees. War orphans. Child soldiers. Yes. Even as PMC soldiers get more specialized, they're also getting young mercenaries spun out from state armies, unmanned weapons, child soldiers, proxy battles in a new Cold War. There are hundreds of PMCs in business worldwide, and their numbers are growing. Currently, five of them are big enough to be labeled global powers, two in the U.S., and one each in the U.K., France, and Russia. Reconnaissance is revealed that those five PMCs are run by a dummy corporation that acts as a single mother company. This mother company embodies the five largest PMCs. Her name is Outer Heaven. Outer Heaven? You mean? That's right. It's liquid. Liquid? He's taking command of this. How much longer is this? I wish there was a time bar in the bottom. It's interesting. This the end so is it? Die. It is. Oh, okay. His I got it right. See, it made it obvious. In the body of the man once known as Oscar. He aims to fan the flames of war even This must be so confusing for you. <laughs> because this is, the, this is supposed to be the final game. Oh. In the whole series. Like, the fifth one takes place before this. You must be stopped. Before it's too late. That's kind of cool story, though. Any means necessary. Just stop Liquid's insurrection. Even if it means killing him. You want Liquid dead? <laughs> I don't like how I went to that one speaker for a second and it went away. Mm -hmm. Colonel. It's alright. I know. This isn't justice, it's a covert assignment. <laughs> <laughs> a hired hit. A wet works up targeting the head of a major multinational corporation. 
Yeah, but the camera jumps are weird with the sound. Because of the military might of the PMCs and the effect they have on the economy. War is to the 21st century what oil was to the 20th. Yeah, I feel like that front speaker is just really quiet. You'll recall a rather alarming report issued by that American think tank during the Cold War. One that described a new model for perpetual war. What we're facing now is a whole new ball game. <laughs> <laughs> it's really fun for whoever's watching it. It existed only on paper. More fun for us. It's far more serious. Yeah, something with the speakers is not set up right. That's just they're all too afraid of the war. <laughs> they can hear the chair louder than the speaker. Yeah. The UN, too. I'll fix this later. Snake. This mission isn't an order from Washington. Not like the old days. And it's not something the UN can officially sanction either. Can't just look the other way while Lipman plots this insurrection. If we fail to act, he'll become the greatest threat the world has ever faced. <laughs> I told you. This is why there's jokes about this game. Wait, are the other ones not like this? Uh, the other ones have long cutscenes, but they're not, they're not as bad as this game. About 18 hours ago, he was spotted in the Middle East. How did it get that image from that low resolution? Enhance. Enhance. That's how it works in real life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> AI upscaling. The core of that regime's army. In 2008? <laughs> I mean, this is about the future, right? No, this game takes place in 2008. Wait, it does? What? Yeah. Oh. The local militias fired small numbers of operators as trainers and field commanders. And of course, they've got help. So, the this cutscene should running for 12 minutes now? Oh, yep. Good game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could switch cameras. Yeah, that looks cool. <sighs> wow, interactive movie. You can switch the cameras. You'll be sneaking into the conflict zone via transport. Might as well just stay on that. Disguised as one of the rebel army's there. hired operators. Your first objective is to make contact with our Yeah, you need to fix that speaker. I think you need to turn that one up. Yeah, it should be all... They should be all. Well, I remember setting it up with like some microphone thing, and it's, I, I don't know, maybe something got changed since then. But it was supposed to like make them all the same, make the volume so that they all sounded the same. Yeah. I can vouch for them personally. Yeah, that's what they were saying. Transportation to the area will be provided under cover of the UN humanitarian aid mission with support from the US military. Maybe it is a 15 minute cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired already. <laughs> I just feel like I'm and watching you must a not leave behind any evidence of your involvement in the area. Let with like terrible audio, audio like mixing. Yeah. Yeah, surround sound doesn't isn't that great when the when the cameras are jumping all over the place. Snake. And, but I mean, I'm guessing it's the audio engine. It's just. Or you can just make that speaker a lot louder. As yeah. I think okay. it'd be so much better. I'm not gonna do it right now. But. Not like the 
Jesus. Would you even upload anything to your own YouTube channel? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't uploaded anything yet, but I would upload something. Like what? What kind of stuff? I don't know. Some random shit, like opening a door. Uh, okay. I wonder what I would do. I mean, nothing like really artistic because I'm not very... I'll start my own fire. Yeah, I don't animate. I don't even know why that came to mind. I can do vlog. Finally. Game hey, that was 15. That was almost 16 minutes. Oh, I got. I, I should make YouTube videos for children. Get a lot of money from that. Yeah. Does it make train videos? Train? What? Just make train videos? <laughs> Dump. Top 10 trains. Uh. Just make top 10 videos of everything. Oh no. That's not another one. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not the channel that is. I don't like that. Oh, I love these. What? Oh, cooking? These, these ads are so weird. Commercials I want to see. I hope so that all of all that This is the voice actor for Snake, this guy. Oh. <laughs> Do you have to go through them by yourself? Yeah, you can't watch all of them mm -hmm. during the beginning. You have to restart the game a couple times. I think it's just not talking. <laughs> oh, there you go. He he just looks so like, hyper concentrated. <laughs> Why is it so quiet? Because when we get things on the ground, <laughs> <laughs> the Wait, like a Komodo, dude, there's a Komodo dragon with dynamite stuck on it. <laughs> oh, I thought the snakes were the audience for a second. <laughs> okay. Oh. You like those? Those were doing yeah. that is the greatest part. Of it. That's the greatest thing that came out of this game with our cutscenes. Wait, well, why is this like cutscenes and commercials? I love this intro. Like, what? What was the purpose of that cutscene? To show the world has been like, um, uh, like everything's fueled by war. Yeah. Okay. A Hide Hideo Kojima game. Ah. Person. <laughs> you don't know Hideo Kojima? Nah, that sounds familiar. He made Death Stranding. Yeah. Oh, I can control the camera. Oh, uh, okay. Kinda. It's kinda shaky. Oh, there's people on the thing. <laughs> it's not that exciting, is 
I haven't played the game for 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This one's just gonna be no, not even any gameplay. <laughs> the first, the first, the first episode. It's not even gonna be go gameplay. This is gonna be called uh, Metal Gear Solid 4: The Movie. Just yeah. stay with that. Just yeah. stay with that. <laughs> movie commentary. <laughs> yes. But <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Metal Gear Solid 4: Movie commentary. Yes. <laughs> Real PS3. <laughs> <laughs> it's no longer about nations, ideology. It's a cool story, though, I guess. It's an endless series of proxy battles fought by mercenaries and machines. War and its consumption of life Looks like fun. has become a well oiled machine. War has changed. ID tag soldiers carry ID tag weapons, use ID tag gear. Nano machines inside their bodies enhance and regulate their abilities. Genetic control, information control, emotion control, battlefield control. Everything is monitored and kept under control. Me. Changed. The age of deterrence has become the age of control. All in the name of averting catastrophe from weapons of mass destruction. And he who controls the battlefield controls history. Snake isn't his old the other games. This is like the first game where he's an old man. Huh. So that's why he's talking about how wars change and stuff. Ah. <laughs> 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 okay. <sighs> oh, it was more different in the other games? Yeah. Um. This isn't a war game, this is actually a stealth game. Nothing looks healthy here. No, not really. And also how everything is just the same color. It's Saudi Arabia. There's no color in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, it's, 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 isn't it strange though? Like every time like some country like that is showing on um, TV, it's just no color. You know like how in like other movies and shows like how like you go to like a different place of the world and there's just like a, a, a tint over everything and everything's just one color? Well that's usually war movies. War movies usually have this realistic tint. Not even, no not realistic. I mean like, uh, what was that one show? Uh, how, you know like how they always, that one show that always like had like that, that very yellow tint over when they were in Mexico. Getting a hang of the controls. I forgot them a little bit. Each game has different controls. Yeah. I'm not controlling this. You're not he moves the new truck under his own. So you're kind of controlling it? Yeah. Okay. How much gameplay is I think, like, out of like 20 or 30 hours, the game is. I think like a quarter of it, half of it is gameplay. Oh. So almost like Detroit Become Human? Except for that one has more, I feel like that still has more gameplay. Can you do it no, like, that one, no. But there's like more interaction though, isn't there? I guess. Now Metal Gear Solid 4 you can actually play as opposed to watching a movie where it's decisions. Yeah. Do the decisions even do anything? Uh, yeah they do, right? They're pretty good, yeah. I, I, I haven't played it before, but um...
I wonder if like, someone just like recorded a video of it and, 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 as a movie. <laughs> that would be cool. You can record each uh, item. I know, someone just played through Detroit Become Human and without like any any commentary or anything and it's just like a movie. I wonder if you can make a YouTube thing where like each decision is a different video so oh, technically yeah. you can play the whole game without ever... That's not interesting. Like, oh, like, like it pops up in like the, the cards or something? Yeah. Of like every time there's a decision? But that would be so many videos though. Huh, that'd be cool though. Well, maybe, maybe you can like rip up the cutscenes from the game. Unless it's like rendered. They are rendered. Oh, they're all rendered? Okay. And you'd have to play the game so many times. Oh god, yeah. And yeah, they keep track of what you see. And then they get taken down by YouTube. <laughs> For a music copyright, of course, not because what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe you can make your own kind of interactive. Like, even if it's not just a recording of that game, I wonder if people have, like, done that with just any other video. Well, like, I think, like, half of the decisions don't actually make a difference. Oh, they only make an audio difference, like, they, the, what they, people say are different. But then. The yeah, this is like, not like a whole different branch of the game. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's not as interesting. Half of them. I, I don't know. I haven't played the game yet. Okay. Now, I'd like a game where, like, every single decision is a whole different way of the game. I heard uh, Blade... Oh, uh, not Blade Runner. I mean, uh, Cyberpunk is like that. Really? Yeah. Oh, so it's, it's like... It's, I got a... Okay. But also, Cyberpunk has a bunch of bugs. Like, they have horrendous bugs. Yeah, I've heard. <laughs> And did you see you got like a 2.6 on PS4 or something like that? Uh, oh yeah, all that stuff. And like, it doesn't even... Or like, so, so a lot of the stuff doesn't work or something? And did, did they have like problems with uh... I have the PS4 version, I just haven't played it yet. There was some like... Like medical conditions or something that, that people are having problems with the game? I kind of remember hearing something about that. It wasn't very accessible. Seems like a cool game, The machines move because they're, it's a representation of how war has become like, uh, the, like, has become like a farm. Uh-huh. So they move. So they move. Because what? they become like, more like soldiers that become like farm animals, basically. Yeah. Even get shot. Machines just have legs. <laughs> I'm 
fast and the, like their legs look so uh futuristic. Well just like detailed? I don't know. They're just like they like, kinda of round, like actual like an animal. But then the, the the upper half is just like an actual machine. It's like all flat and rectangular. In the other Metal Gear games, you hide in boxes. Oh. You hide in cargo boxes. And do you not in this one? Oh, you do, but it's not. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Five minute cutscene. Um. <laughs> no joke, I'm not joking. It's like probably another five minute cutscene, hey, well, maybe ten minutes. Thirty minute mark. <laughs> I've only played for what five minutes. Okay, time to stop the game, right? Oh, once this is over. Yeah, once this cutscene's done. Now let's wait until then. Is it time to... Okay, there all we right, go. All right, all right. This was a... Uh, hey, don't end it right now. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, we'll be back, I don't know, with either more God of War or more Metal Gear. Or both. Yeah, or both. All right, nice talking to you guys.